Well then, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? I just hopped on real quick to check the hotspot zones and it is in fact a Edgefield hotspot for one and a half hour remaining, but that should be more than enough. If you haven't seen the previous Spawn PK video where I covered all there was about the update, I would highly recommend you go back and check out that video first before watching this one because um, it covers everything in a more global line. As the update was split into a event, part of the update and a PKing part on the of the update. So in this particular video I wanted to focus more on the unholy behemoth pet, although technically this one was already released on I believe the 8th of July, I want to say the 8th, but I'm not 100% sure if that's the correct date. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of other changes to Edgefield, for those of you I'll recap it real quick. Elijah's Spirit Shield Soak effect has been removed in Edgefield, Tectonic Soak ability has been halved in Edgefield, Darok is now less accurate at mid-tier hit points in Edgefield, added an Edgefield became daily money-making task, I can show that off very easily, it should be right here. Get 10 kills in Edgefield, non-bots for 500 mil and 100 block money. Nothing too crazy, I feel like they could have done a little more with this one, but then again you also have the player killing one which is count towards and that one is for treasure casket, all of that good stuff. Got a juicy amount of daily money, money makers on uh, Spawn PK nowadays. But yeah, those uh, that one was added and of course a lot of other things like no longer being able to PJ as quickly as you used to back in the day. Uh, increased chance of getting statues, they are worth more money, uh, you can now get significant more uh, summer tokens during PKing, which is split up, wow, okay, grats dude, lucky as fuck, uh, which is now split up into three different parts, you get tokens for PKing, you get additional tokens if it's PKing inside of a hotspot, and you get additional tokens if it's your target kill. So that's what we're going to be having a look at today, I'm very very excited, let's go ahead and activate the hotspot crystal or thingamabob and get ready to lose some 50 bill orbs, because you know, I don't PK often anymore nowadays, so this is just, uh, just gotta be me losing money most likely. Looking forward to it boys, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh my god, let's get ready to make some losses man. Man has a blood raper and everything. He's also using the behemoth pet. Oh, he could have easily killed me just right there with the rapier. There's only 46 HP on that hit. It's been so long, man. Maybe I should start up with a Tendal Orb instead of Cursed. Oh. Yep, he got me with that one. Close enough, but, you know, as expected. <laughs> oh, I can already tell where this is going. Choka Mocha over here. Good luck, man. Oh, is he using uh, Tectonic as well? Lots of people with cursed orbs. I don't know if I'm just getting unlucky on my targets right now. Because I'm getting some very, very strong opponents, so to say. We'll see how everything goes. Such a stupid, useless risk. And what the fuck is that, bro? <laughs> oh, man. This is just like 64 Dragon Maze into a double granite mole for whatever the fuck I had left. This is ridiculous, bro. Absolutely ridiculous. Fun times. <sighs> Just the worst of worst starts, ain't it? <laughs> Can I get a bit more of a reasonable target just to warm up a little bit? God damn, bro. Decided to just stop using cursed orbs for a little while at least. Because this has not been a pleasant experience up until now. Everything is just so strong, man. Fuck me. Once you don't play for a little while, it's so hard to get back into. Like, look at... Am I supposed to be able to do something against this? This is so fucking ridiculous. Hmm. At least I didn't die three times in a row. Alright, let's see who is next to rape my Oh, look, it's Death Dealer again with that fucking blood rapier. Ree! Zero on the vent with a low VLS. I had a 16 on 30 HP right there, that is just... Please luck turn around, I'm begging you. Well, I'm 10 minutes in, still not a first kill. I keep getting the same targets in the same overpowered gear, which is... Not very pleasant for me right now. <laughs> I'd like to get a few more normal targets, you know, but it keeps being a blood drowsy rapier dude and tectonic guy. Okay, we have an actual DHer. That is hopefully a bit more reasonable. Curious to see if he'll still be able to smack me for, uh, you know, like 80 HP while he's on 60. Because that is one of the things that were, you know, slightly nerfed, rebalanced, whatever you want to call it. It's a zero instead. I'll just go for a double VLS, honestly. No. Not enough. There we go. Finally, first kill of the entire video, boys. 
Okay, as you can see, it did drop, in fact, triple summer tokens. So that gave us 208 tokens just from one kill. Not too shabby, you know, if I didn't just die for two color thoughts and an other orb. Uh, besides the negative points, <laughs> there's things to look forward to here. Oh, dude skipped me, what a shame. Honestly, how much I... Yeah, look at the same dude. Oh no, 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 it's cheap, it's cheap. I don't know why, but that cursed armor, the, the fighter hat and the torso, really sometimes makes me think of Tectonic from a distance. What I wanted to say is how much I die or not die and get kills, etc. isn't all that matters anyway. Damn, there's a full DH switch, not bad. Um, because, you know, I, I'm just doing the showcasing part and you guys can just assume that you're a better PKer than me, so everything I can do you could do as well, but probably better. So this dude smacking me with that DH, man. Holy fuck. And Cursed VLS so far has not truly paid off. Unfortunately enough. There we go. Good fight, sir. Yeah. Uh, risk a 50 bill orb? I think he did. I had to teleport out because I was completely out, but we got a Blood Wild casket from that as well. So now it's starting to look a little bit better at least. Man, that PvP timer long as fuck. Come on, chop chop. Where's my lootations? There we go. Let's have a little looky looky at what he dropped. 50 bill cash? Yeah, he did in fact dry a risk a cursed orb. So we're making a little bit of our losses back. That's good, that's good. I like that. I like that. Ah, Death Dealer again, full Torba, Cudgel, all nine yards. Just had a fight with him, but he was out pretty quick on that one. Of course, no real uh, KO chance or anything like it. I do not have full spec. Fuck my life, why did it not restore? How did I fuck this up? Oh my god, we actually got him. No fucking way, dude. <laughs> what? There's no fucking way. He had a Borg battle axe and everything? I do not want to get rushed right now. Holy shit. I was not... <laughs> I'll fight him for the content, guys, just in case I was gonna end up killing him. I said in the previous clip that I ended up deleting because no one died. And then we rematched and what? I just PK'd a Borg battle axe, Torva plate body and legs, guardian boots, one of those these things, Bloodfire Shields. <laughs> oh my god, that was so unexpected. Never in a million years did I think I would kill him. Plus 50 billion cash. That was a... I, I figured, because he was packing me, maybe he wouldn't pay attention as much to his own hit points. And it fucking paid out. I cannot believe it. Whoo! That, that, that just made up for so much early on. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Good luck, Mr. This dude. Oh my god, pay attention. Just fucking died to a whip there. Claws, pretty good hits. DHX still scary, he was pretty low HP on that one. Ah, oh, can't believe we just PK that man, that compensates for so much. I mean, we instantly lost like, ooh, 110 billard. Oh, he specced all zeros. My bad. I'll take the risk, good fight. Um, yeah, I instantly lost like 110 bill or so, I would say. You know, two cursed orbs, 50 bill each, and then another 10 bill orb as well. And then we PK'd like a solid 300 bill or so, apparently. Door of the legs is about 120, the plate body 130. Bork Axe is going for over 80 bill as well. And then 50 bill orb and some other shit. Very nice. Alright, another target, the Lux Savages. There we go. Wasn't sure if he wants to fight me because he was about to attack someone else. I think he does. Probably use my Gmail a bit more often. And good fight. Nice 65 VLS for the kill and another hotspot casket. They are coming in hard as fuck. I love the fact that you now finally get summer tokens as well. It's such a great addition. Was added in the previous update, not the most recent one, but even then. It's just so good, like almost 200 tokens per kill as long as you find targets, like it adds up, you know? Another dh -er for the good luck.
You know, I was talking a lot of shit about the cursed VLS early on in the video, but after that uh, tour of a PK, I really, I really need to, you know, offer my sincerest apologies to this thing. Cause uh, <laughs> after the few deaths, it, it has been working all right, pretty damn well. I haven't used the Gmail a single time yet. I haven't gotten the chance to. Either the VLS just hasn't hit high enough to go in for it, or it just straight up kills the opponent. All right, we have a ranger over here. First, I'm fighting. Uh, Someone in range. Does me well to know that Dragon Knives can no longer spec above 70s, although that's still relatively high. I've gotta be wary of it. The Dragon Knives themselves aren't a problem, it's the D-Knife spec into the Ancient Crossbow, exactly, that thing he's using right now. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Like, the, the, the rough part about it is that he's in that fucking gear, right? Like, he has absolute horseshit gear. But it can still hit so incredibly high. That's the scary part about range, but the downside is you're extremely squishy in comparison. Yeah, the VLS did not hit in this one. Oh, 52 with the whip. And the mole does a little magic carp attack there. Oh, he delete. Rip. Alright, next fight. Dude might be doing a, a PK task since he's not using a cape. If you end up watching this kind sir and you were in fact doing a PK task, let me give you the tip that you can just use a cape in the fight and if your opponent dies you take it off just like that and it will still work for your task man. Just a free little bonus tip if you end up watching this. I think I smited him but he ain't skulled so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Yikes my asshole. It be like that sometimes man, tell me all about it. Ooh, no casket, unlucky. I love the tokens every time. See, I kind of wish it went into one stack, but on the other hand, it's very, very satisfying to see three stacks of summer tokens on the floor. So I don't mind that much. Hey, it's Mr. Bonk Lutes. Good luck to you, man. Don't think it's the same uh, Bonk Lutes that I know. I don't think so. Out of food. I should. It's not worth it, but... There we go. Good fight. Whew, close one. No casket again, unfortunately. Oh shit, I didn't even notice, but I got a uh, summer t totem from that kill. If you guys don't know what those are, I showcased those in the last video. You know what, I'll put a little annotation again on screen right now, top right corner, so you can watch the full thing of it, but you uh, can use that to fight Lunar and Solar Demon. We have Mr. Kuderes again, good luck to you, sir. I should make more people skull. The fact that I'm using a smiting pet, I am not utilizing it that much. I'm just using it as a good pet at the moment. Oh well, it's not like I own a- Whoa. Edgy motherfucker, he almost had me. <laughs> and then the comeback with a casual VLS back. But um, yeah, honestly, if, maybe if I had like a malevolent uh, war axe or something like that, I would consider it a bit more, but it is not that easy to smite anyone in my current setup, per uh, se. Could get lucky if I really go hard with like in a row whip hits and stuff, but uh, maybe in the future. Something like that. Also, I'm noticing a shitload of statue drops in case you guys haven't noticed it in my inventory. Oh god, prescription. Oh, void is always scary, man, I'm telling you. I do not like fighting that. Thank you, thank you, sir. Very kind of you. Please don't annihilate me too hard with the fucking. Oh, Morrigan Javelins. Was not expecting that. Whenever I see someone ranging, I just kind of assume the ancient crossbow is a part of it, you know? No. Did he just hit a 38 dragon throwing axe? 38 with a dragon throwing axe. Bro, the fuck? Dragon upgrade scroll with the uh, dragon throwing axes are, you know, smacking apparently. Also, I just straight up walked back into the willy without any gear on. You know what, why don't we uh, up the ante a little bit and use a little just this here set. But Metal, why would you waste all that money you just became by then risking more? I don't know guys, for the content I suppose. I just want to have a jolly good old time with the time we are given in this Edge hotspot and get as many fun, amazing, hilarious clips as possible. If I end up dying, so fucking be it, but we'll do it for the content. Ring Cursed Emblems. Oh god, not Death Dealer again. This is his chance to make money back from the last fight. That is a little scary. Really? Oh my god, how did my GMO flop that hard, man? Chance of a lifetime. Oh my. Re 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 re. Bye. Back to back death dealer target. I think he's looting. Phew! Thank God. 
Oh no, no, you know what? No, 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 nope, no, 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 oh, okay, Phew. see how close that was? <sighs> Stay calm, preferably I would not fight that dude again, he's fucking terrifying me. Here we go again, this time I got my Kojal out as well, just uh, even the playing field a bit more. Crush bonus on this thing is fucking ridiculous. He would teleport on spec, there's no way he was out. He was destroying me the whole fight, how? Well, maybe, I don't know. Fuck! Alright, good luck again to Nipex, just had a fight with him, but no one ended up dying. But this time we'll try even harder, for fuck's sake. Can't remember if the Cudgel special attack is even any good or not. Just genuinely can't remember. I don't know how I survived that, did I eat just in time there? Good fucking spec timing on his part. It's like he could smell I was about to take my armor off, damn. Oh, can you please just die? Thank you. Wow. All I had to do was ask nicely, damn. We have a little major over here. See what we can do against... Him. He's spec leeching, the fuck? Come on. Even on Aram ropes, the Elden Mall still doesn't feel like hitting. That is such a shame. You're an Aram's, why am I not hitting? <laughs> Hello? Hello? There we fucking go, damn. I feel like he was out already, that took way too long. For someone in Aram's. Arat Peking 32, good luck to you sir. Instantly smacked him with a double 40. Oh, come on. This Aldemol is just not putting in the work today, that's for sure. There we go, as I say that it hits a 70, good fight man. Yeah, okay, well, about damn time it would start to deliver. We are still at four hotspot caskets, the last few fights I've had resulted in absolutely nothing unfortunately. I really wanted to fight my target, but he's on someone else, a major dude. We, we, gonna, we gonna fight? Yes? No? Maybe? Somehow the world will change me. Okay, good luck! Oh man, only five minutes remaining, that kinda hurts, not gonna lie. Oh my god, that's a 73. Yep, that gets the job done, alright, good fight, man. There we go, casket number five. Took long enough, to be honest. Those little summer tokens, Festa set as a bonus. Not bad. Alright, good luck, Mr. Deager. Two and a half minutes left, just fought again with that dealer, resulting in nothing. We could get one or two more kills in these last two and a half minutes, I would be... Very grateful game. Damn, 53? feel like I should have specced a little bit earlier there, damn. Although the Gmod flops a lot. I, I remember it vaguely being nerfed at some point, but it just doesn't pull through for me all that often. Kajal is putting in the work. Everything else just isn't. And he tallied. Re, 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 re. Ah, some frustrating stuff, boys. It's uh, very unfortunate. With 50 seconds on the clock, unless I get a really easy target that I can quickly kill, I don't think we're gonna see a sixth casket. Seems a little unlikely. Homies, do you want a good luck, man? Hope you do. Because I have 36 seconds remaining and I gotta make it fast. Please? 0, 20 again, and 36 mol on fucking 43 HP. Hello? And then he teleports, yeah, okay. See what I mean? It's not working out in my favor today. Well, at this point, it definitely seems unlikely that we'll get someone in the last few seconds, literally. Like last 10 or so. We made some good progress though, I mean, I didn't end up dying another time at the end there. So I'm pretty happy about that alone. And we ended up getting, uh, you know, five blood hotspot caskets plus a good compensation with the kills. Not too many summer tokens, but that's just, you know, me sucking and just not getting the kills where I should be getting them. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I don't know. I still had fun. It was pretty good. I don't know how much of the... Uh, how about we drop the Falcon first? Okay, let, let's have a look here real quick. Blood statue, blood statue. Third age bow, gold artifact please. Nope, never lucky man. Donator inbox, 10 bill, not bad. Ah, oh, I was hoping for some artifacts, man. We still need two more to get our first Grand Pro Bow for the paying off Falcon series, you know? That's a bit unlucky. 
Let's see how much we can get. Oh, that's the wrong one. Exchange statues from inventory. How much do I get for this? Uh, 12.5 bill. I don't think those were actually buffed. You just have an increased chance of getting them. Ironically, we didn't PK any of them during this, uh, this little edge hotspot. But nonetheless, I mean, that Torva PK just made the entire video for me at least. I'm pretty fucking happy about that one. Hotspot caskets are just bonus. We got the Bark Axe, the Bloodfire Shield, the Guardian Boots. We also PK the, the Torva. Um, except for the deaths at the start, I didn't lose any more Cursed Orb, so that's a plus two. We PK a 50 bill orb from that dude. And some, other, and I think from another guy as well, so that alone kind of paid off the uh, Cursed Orbs I personally lost. I don't think I'm leaving this off with uh, a loss whatsoever. Could have been a lot better, you could also just go for a more welfare setup and just have a jolly good old time getting the summer tokens from all the kills. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever, I just figured it would be fun to, you know, up the risk a little bit. Which definitely uh, made me suffer a bit at the start, but at the end I feel like it, it did some paying out at least. So that is already 270 bill from that PK and just the Torva pieces, let's have a look at the other things we got. Guardian, Guardian Boots, 10 bill, I mean, not the worst. Bloodfire Shield is 8 bill, and the Bork Battle Axe, around 85. Yeah, I really can't complain, that was a solid, solid PK. I'm just happy I didn't end up dying to him a second time, or like later after I killed him. That was already pretty, pretty nice. I did have a good amount of fights with him, would have been even more amazing to get him a second time, but I feel like he was even more on guard after that first death. Just never lowering H his HP or really getting chanced uh, a low HP and whatnot. Not enough to get really chanced unless I like hit a 75 VLS into a double 40 granite mold, so to say. Which is, you know, as you might guess, pretty unlikely. Okay, so these are some of the statues that were actually um, changed in this update. So let's quickly, I, I clicked the wrong one again, quickly see how many we get for that. 1.3 bill. That is a significant increase, man. I swear to god, before, these kind of statues would give you like a few hundred mil each at best. You really had to stock up on a lot of artifacts over time to really see a bit of profit. I think I have quite a few of them in my bank as a whole, because that is an option as well. Just take all my artifacts from the bank. Not that I have a good, clear image on how much is in there, but yeah, 2.7 bill. It's a nice little bonus, I would say. The beginner zone was touched up on uh, very nicely as well. Honestly, throughout the update, I don't feel like there was that much to cover in this one because there are a lot of quality of life changes, rebalances, things that you won't instantly notice the, the, the minute you set foot in Hedge, except for the PJing thing. That is just a goddamn lifesaver. I'm really happy about that because you were sometimes in long fights. If you had slow weapons, people would just PJ you off with magic and all of that shit, which was so annoying. You no longer see people using Elijah's in Edgefield, that's a really big bonus as well. And it seems like Tectonic is used a little less, because we saw people in Justiciar, um, in uh, Torva earlier, obviously, because I PK'd one of those. But not as much Tectonic, I think one dude was using a Tectonic plate body, but that still doesn't say everything. And uh, yeah, altogether, it's just, it just feels a little bit better. But I think we will see more of these kind of improvements over time, you know, as more time goes on. Um, to get more feedback from the community and make the right adjustments at the right time to get the game to truly where it needs to be. I think that will be the majority of the case here on Spawn PK because it could be more balanced, certain things could be a bit more rewarding and I feel like a lot of people are just wanting a slightly less custom PKing experience or at least, you know, as an example, someone not throwing a 38 dragon throwing axe at your forehead. You know, that kind of stuff. But all with all, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did as well. And uh, I'll check you guys in the next episode. Have a lovely day, everyone. Oh, right. Little bonus clip. Uh, we are getting the behemoth. Unholy behemoth pad. It's a really, really, really strong pad. And besides showcasing it in this particular video, which in my opinion, it's a good pad, but I, I can't directly say I noticed the impact, not as much as some other pets where you have a more um, focused effect, so to say, but we're not using that again unless we buy one or earn one ourselves, but that was simply just for this one showcase video. Just so you know, 